everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these gift bags. They're a really nice size. They're three, I'm sorry, they're five and three quarters by five and three quarters in width and then they're six and a quarter high. So as I've said before, I'm just trying to build up a playlist of lots of different size gift bags because, you know, we all buy different things and yeah, you can't always find the right gift bag for them. So when I open this one up, you can see just how big this is. Now the base is reinforced four times because each side is folded in. So with the Kalau glue in between each layer, this has now become very, very strong. So these will easily hold a nice heavy candle, preserves so like your jams and your chutneys things like that they will definitely you know be fine in this and I've also reinforced the ribbon with some hot glue just at the tops and then there's double sided tape all the way down but I like that style with the ribbon I think it looks really nice you can just pinch them at the top if you want to just close them up like so and then if you do want to store them flat you they, you know they obviously they do fold down flat but I've also scored them on both sides just because it made it easy for the ribbon to be folded but I actually quite like it I don't mind the score line on the front it's actually how a lot of your shop brought kind of paper bags come if you you know some shops that you'll see they're folded on both sides so it just yeah just another different thing to show you so I've got the happy Christmas on those ones and I've got the wooden lovely beautiful sparkly snowflake on a few of them but I've now run out of all of those the one I'm going to make today I haven't got one of these to stick on so I'll come up with something else but so far I've got two four six eight nine and then I'm going to do the tenth one today so let me show you how to make them okay so I've used the paper addict sleigh ride I've used this for the bookmarks I made a bookmark using one of the papers and then I think just this project I think that's all I've done and that's all I've got left oh and that sheet there actually but one more yeah this one here so that is all I've got left from the pad so I'll probably I will do something with that Again, those that follow me, I like to use stuff. I like to get it used because next year there's going to be more wonderful papers out there. And um, yeah, that's what it's all about. So you need two pieces of 12 by 12. I've got some ribbon there, which I'll give you the measurements for in a moment. So both pieces you will score exactly the same unless you don't want to have the score line on the front. So both pieces, if you want to do them exactly like I have, okay, so if the paper's directional and you've got a pattern, make sure it's the right way up, you're going to score at five and three quarters. Then you're going to score at uh, 11 and a half. Okay. Then you want to rotate and you want to score at five and three quarters. And then you want to score at eight and five eighths. Okay. And it's that eight and five eighths line that we've scored all the way down, which you want to do on both pieces if you want it to fold both ways, just as I've made it. If you don't and you just want it to fold on one side so you don't have the fold on the front, you still want to do these score lines on this piece but just on one piece. And then rotate it back again and score at 8 and 5 eighths just down to that first score line, which would have been the 8th and 5 eighths score line that you just done this way here. Okay, so that's everything there and you want to repeat that again on the other piece if you're doing it like me. If you're not, I'll say, then you want to bring the other piece in and you're going to again score at five and three quarters and then eleven and a half then rotate and you're going to score at five and three quarters all the way down but then because you don't want to have that fold on the front if you want to do it the other way flip the cardstock and do far, um, eight and five eighths of an inch past the first score line and down to the second okay then flip it back over again and then pop it back in its the position where you would have scored your original five and three quarters and eleven and a half. And you're then going to score at eight and five eighths down to the first score line. Okay. So the only difference that you'll have with this one to that one is you won't have a score line through this section here. You'll just have your base score line and where you can feel that score line there, it will stop and it won't continue. Whereas on this one, it continues across. And I've done that on both of my pieces and I'm going to do that again on this one. So I'm just going to pop it back in and I want to score that five, 8 and 5 eighths. I'm going to score all the way down. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. I've got a whole playlist of fl fold flat gift bags. Again, I will share that one up here. Have a look at that just to get your head around, you know, maybe the style that you want. But I'm going to fold it both ways. So that's everything you need there. Okay, then you want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. 
Okay, then we want to do a bit of cutting. So with that half inch tab on the right hand side, you just want to cut up that middle score line up to the first score line. So just like so. Okay. And then you'll have this tab piece here. You want to cut all the way up that one again to that same first score line. Okay. And then just cut on an angle so you're creating a little kind of wedge on it just you want to form a, a tab there because that's what we're going to use to stick it all together and take a bit off the top okay then fold that one under and this one here you just want to take some nice wedges off just so it doesn't overhang when we stick down the base like so and repeat that on the other one Okay, now before we stick it together, you've got a couple more score lines. So you will have, if I just fold, this one is going to end up folding up like this, that other score line. Same with that one. If you haven't scored across both of them, you won't be able to do that on one of them. Don't do it on both. You only do it on one of them if the score line obviously doesn't go through that one, don't fold it. So you will have, if I fold that one under, you'll have this rectangle here. You see this rectangle piece? All right, you've got your tab there. There'll be a score line here. I'm just doing it like this just so you can see. If I flip it over, oh no, that doesn't help. It's a busy paper, I know, but there is a rectangle here. And then there'll be that score line, that eight and five eighths score line that will come down in the center. You want to score from that score line to the corner here, from that score line to the corner there. I'm gonna open this back out because I don't want to print through onto that, but I'm just gonna score. Again, tons and tons of tutorials, you'll see this and some of them will probably be a bit clearer because I'll be using a plain card stock, but it's very straightforward. But I've just done a triangle, I just fold that all in just within this rectangle section here and there is a score line just going down to there and another one just going down to there. Okay, so do that on both pieces. Okay, and then just with those score lines, just kind of push them towards you and just pinch that one there. Okay, because basically that's going to fold it in like so, form the side, and then you can see now it will fold flat just by the way that we fold it in. But it will make sense when I put it together in a moment anyway. But mine's going to go both ways. So that's that one. And then again, this one here kind of push them up. It will just help it all when you go to put it all together. Oh, and I didn't cut my wedges off of here. Like so. Okay, next we want to stick them together. Okay, so we're going to put glue on this tab and we're going to stick this one over the top, like so. So I'm just going to bring in my glue. And then I'm just going to lay that down Stick that one over the top. And just make sure your base score line lines up. That's the most important one. You can always trim the top if it's a little bit out, but mine's all okay. And then flip it over. Fold in one side here with the other tab piece and add some glue. And then bring the other one over and it should all line up properly. And the whole thing will be nice and flat. Okay, so if you haven't done your score line all the way through on both of them like I did you'll have one of these you'll have your panels with the triangles on on the side and then you'll have one on the front which maybe won't have a score line going through it if you haven't done if you've done it that way now would probably be a good time to add your ribbon and I'll show you I'll do one with it flat and then I'll put it together the other side I'll do when it's um you know put it all together so all I've done is I came in about an inch just pop some double-sided tape nice and straight all the way up there and then again come in the other side just about an inch uh, if you want to use red tape you can I'm just this is fine like so and then I'm just going to peel the backing off and then make sure your ribbon's got a nice straight end and then you just want to sit it at the bottom. Just run it all the way up. Make sure it's all stuck down. You'd be surprised how well it stays. And then I'm just going to bring it around. 
and just line up the other one at the bottom. My double sided tape is about three eighths of an inch thick. This ribbon is about half an inch and then stick that one down. And then what I did is I just peeled it back ever so slightly. If you don't want to peel it back again, then don't do it, you know, just leave it from the top, but just put a thin bead of glue like so, and then just lay it back down. And you won't see it at all. I mean, this is a very textured ribbon. I imagine maybe if you're using like a satin ribbon, you may well see it, but what you could do, if that's the case, is put something decorative over the top, you know, maybe punch some circles or some nice leaves or flowers and then stick it over the top. So you've then got, still got the reinforced glue under there, but then you've put something decorative over the top. So there's ways around it. But that is how I would say to do it if you aren't gonna have it fold on both sides like I have. Okay, then what you wanna do, so if this is the front, then I would leave that one till last and I would bring the base up first and then I'm gonna add some glue to this side here. Stick that one in there for a minute. I'll turn it upside down in a second and then put some glue on that one. And then finally put some glue on the last one, which should be the one that's on the front. Just always gives you a nicer finish. And then fold that one down and then flip the whole thing over and you can just go in there because you've got so much space and just spread all that glue out and make sure that's stuck really nicely okay and then what you should be able to do is if you just push in the sides but I always put my finger above the triangle there and just pinch it and where you've done those other score lines it will just all fold down okay but because I've done the folds on both sides you should be able to fold that piece over okay and then if you are then sticking your ribbons down now for the first time all you do again same thing but I'm going to use this one to line up so but if you're just starting off it doesn't matter just make sure they're both the same on each side and then that one again remove the backing and then with that other piece, which I didn't give the measurement for, I think it was 22, yeah, 22 inches these are. That's if you want that length, obviously you can do any you want. And you don't have to do it this way, you could put paper handles, you could put some hole punch through and, you know, put the ribbon through that way. I just thought it was something a little bit different. And because it's Christmas and this is all sparkly, I just thought it worked really nicely. Again, just stick that around and I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit there. I'll just peel that back a little bit. So there's the finished gift bag. So you can, you know, put a little thing on there like I have. Gift tags. I've got some gift tags that I'll be using on these anyway. They're just plain like silver discs. So I'll just be adding them to this. But yeah, I really like it. And it's nice obviously because this paper's double sided. So it looks, yeah, just looks really great. So I'm going to pop all those in there. The last one that I've done like this, I actually donated to a raffle and uh, someone picked that one up so someone else is enjoying that one but this one I will be using because I've actually or the most a lot of the gifts I've brought are perfect for this size bag so um, yeah they're going to come in very handy and they store nicely like that for the minute anyway but yeah there you have it so I hope you've enjoyed it I will put the size in the title just so it's easy for you to find it if you you know look at them at a later date because this could be used obviously for any occasion so thank you for watching as always please hit the like button if you have enjoyed today and hit the subscribe as well if you would like to see more tutorials see you soon bye